This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got two guests with me right now, Catherine McLeod and Irene Golich. Did I say your name right? Golich. Golich. All right. Uh, you are from Perth. Unfortunately, you had a, a very tragic event happen uh, a few weeks ago on April 7th. I believe it was Good Friday. Yes, it was. You yes. are uh, victims of the fire that happened at 75 Harvey Street. Yes. And uh, you, now you're you're. You, you, you're living in hotels in Perth right now, but let's talk about the event itself. You were pretty much first one of the first responses to the fire, Catherine. Yes, yeah, it, yeah. It was uh, to me my time frame. It was 4:30, but others are saying it was six. But anyway, that I guess doesn't matter. I I was just at that point in the day. I just finished the dishes, and uh, I was going to go in and have a shower, and I heard. Uh, somebody's smoke detector and I've always reacted to smoke detectors because I used to be a security tenant in Kirkland Lake so I always investigated it, it was one of my patterns mm -hmm. of living there so I went out in the hall to see whose it was and it was three doors down uh, the tenant in apartment 214 and uh, there was another tenant standing at the door with a cell phone in his hand and uh, he was, he was pounding on that tenant's door, and I said, like, he kind of lived kitty corner from him. So I said to him, I said, D did you call the fire department? And he said, no, I don't know the number, but I looked up to the ceiling. I could see, like, little slight waft of very pale smoke. It wasn't very dark. And another tenant came out, and I said to the other tenant, I said, look it up there. I said, up to the ceiling wasn't actually in the hall. It kind of looked up to the ceiling, and, and he said, yeah. I said, so I went r right back into my apartment and, and called the fire department. I didn't call the fire department. I called 911. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, um, I said, apart, uh, fire, I said, apartment 214. I said, 75 Harvey. I said, and the person that answered the phone said, uh, do you, do you know where the alarm is? And I said, no, I don't know where it is. I said, but I'll find it. So uh, it was a woman. She said, do that, she said, and then she said, uh, evacuate. Go down the closest exit, she said, and uh, as loud as you can. She said, go down the nearest exit, she said, and, and yell fire, evacuate immediately. Right. So that's what I did. I went down, the, it was way down at the end of the hall, the other end of the hall on the other side of the fire doors. So I went down there and I pulled the, pulled the thing and then of course that went off, the alarm went off at the fire department and, uh, and shut, the, shut the fire door, the, the firewall, the fire doors. Okay, now there's, uh, how many units is in there? 27 units? Yes. And how many people were living in there at, th at that time? Um, well, there were a few yeah. li living there that shouldn't have been. At yeah, oh, le well, at least one person per unit. So I mean, you saved probably 50 lives that day. Catherine, so good for you for doing that. Irene, you live in the building as well too. You lived in the farther end mm -hmm. of the building. So you were notified when the alarm went off that Catherine pulled? Well, um, I was just about to sit down and have my dinner and I, I ritualistically eat at six, so I think it was around six. Oh, okay. I was just about to sit down and I heard the alarm go off, and um, as they do, not you know, not for that lengthy period. And that's when I knew something was up, and I went out my back patio door and came around the front and saw where the fire was coming from. So I beelined it back to my apartment, knowing. Uh, how severe the fire was and uh, grabbed my buggy with whatever it, I was it was I could grab and uh, before I knew it I had uh, a couple of firemen just busting through my front door just telling me to get out right. and uh, and uh, after that it's you know very fragmented, very distorted. Because um, basically now you're out in the streets and you've got nothing. You've got nothing, right, you know, yeah. yes, absolutely. And absolutely. we're all um, brought over to 77 at their common room to uh, take it, you know, from there. 
Yeah. Now we're very lucky in in our, our in Lanark. We have many uh, community services that came and helped. Lanark uh, Victim Services was there. Red Cross was there. The members of the Table uh, Community Food Center were there. And uh, I guess that this is what I want to talk about: is when an emergency happens like this in our in our communities, the help that that you got. Like right now, you you both are living in motels, and because of the building situation. Uh, Irene, you're going to be able to get in sooner than you, Catherine. Yes, is that what I understand? Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're talking maybe by the end of May, Irene, you'll be able to get back in your unit. Hopefully. Hopefully. And uh, Catherine, we're talking maybe a year. Yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the firewall. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after the, the event happened, though, so many people came together to help, and uh, we're very fortunate in our communities that that this yes. sort of thing happens. That that people come out to help. So. Uh, from what I understand too, the good people at the, the, the Table Community Food Center put together a meeting, let's get together, who can help? Yes. That sort of thing happened? Yes, they, they brought in different, uh, different groups like Victim Services, Mental Health, uh, a couple of counselors, the mayor. It was like a community meeting with all the different services there to direct us on, on what would be available for us. That's right, yeah, that's right. Because we were in a situation where we didn't know where to turn. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're basically out in the streets and yeah. maybe even just have your purse in your hand maybe, you know, like yeah. even if. I was, I was in slippers and, and my sleep pants and a, and a t-shirt that night. So really? Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. Now a lot of people stepped up. You got food cards, uh, uh, grocery cards I believe from the table as well. They were able to get yeah, yes. grocery cards yeah. for you and clothes from... Uh, I believe the Salvation Army stepped in too. Uh, I, 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 I didn't get anything from that. Oh. But, but I, I did from uh, Jules. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Jules gave me a, a, a $100 gift card. Wow. But I, I did volunteer there at one time, so maybe that was the reason. I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, um, some of us got, I don't know if everybody got it, but a card from uh, Red Cross. And they were kind of right sort of spontaneous because uh, it was within it was within the three days basically because mm -hmm. that was the long weekend right that, that we got that which helped with you know toiletries and you know socks or <laughs> underwear and all that that's right it was a long weekend as well yes it was a long weekend so there really wasn't wasn't anything till the Tuesday and that's the day that they were moved okay okay and I just didn't follow follow the crowd <laughs> yeah <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I guess what we want to talk about today is the amount of community help that comes together when this sort of thing happens too. And like we, we, we mentioned that the Table Community Food Center came out to help you, Red Cross, Lanark County Services, uh, Meals on Wheels, you, you've been getting meals five days a week. Um, <coughs> Lanark Transportation, I understand, can... Yes, I, I've gone out. That's the first time I've been in one of their vans, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Because I was a walker. I, I walked basically from Harvey yeah. Street downtown all the time. Because you were, your unit is very close to downtown. Yeah, yeah yes. That's right. Yeah. You can yeah. pretty much walk yeah. everywhere, too. Yeah. So Rideau Community Health Services helped out. Uh, Lanark County Mental Health Services. Uh, again, the table, the good folks at table put together a, a, an information night yes, for people to yeah. get together. Yeah. And, and then uh, they had a week, a week or so later. I'm mixed up in my time frame because um, it's a month now. And uh, they also had like a, a mental health uh, worker there that did like a presentation for us on how to deal with stress, stress management. And, stuff like that. That's right, yeah. that's right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, and you don't know that until you go through something like this. Yeah. You yeah. know? So, yeah. so how are you doing? Up and down, yeah. kind of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, some good days, the, the letter really threw me, which which was last, last Monday, I got the letter of, you know, saying that I would, well, all of us got a letter basically saying, and when I read mine at, at, a, at a year, it, uh, it, it, wow. it threw me into, <laughs> that long. it didn't, it's uh, to a very good no, place. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure, that, yeah. that is hard to yeah. take. And how about you, Irene, how are you doing? Well, I, I, um, I, I, I congratulate for everyone who stepped up uh, in so many ways with uh, support, love, and all, all the uh, immediate uh, needs that we needed fulfilled. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I thank you for what you did. You stepped up and you made sure everybody got out of that building safely too. So thank you for what you did too, Catherine, to, to make sure everybody was safe and, and out thank of the you. building. And I thank you ladies for coming here today and talking about your story. And you know, thank goodness for the resources we do have in our community. Uh, Yes. We, we certainly find out when there's an emergency like that who steps up and who's there to help you. So yes. thank you very much for joining us. Catherine McLeod and Irene Golick. Did I say Golich, it? Golich. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much.